Hi folks, welcome back to Stacey Can Can. Today I am making a pear and cranberry infused liqueur. It's just a pear and cranberry liqueur. Uh, this is an infused alcohol beverage, so you can, this is a DIY project. You can give this away as a gift if you want, or you can just make it in time for the holidays to have with your, say your Thanksgiving dinner or whatever holiday fall kind of tradition you want to do, or even for you know the winter holidays too. So uh, the kind of fun thing to do with these liqueurs is you can either drink them straight or you can put it, mix it with um, say a sparkling wine. Um, you can pour it in your, you know, baked goods, those types of things. So whatever, it's, it's quite versatile. So um, the ingredients that you're gonna need today are, uh, you're gonna need some uh, one and a third cups of sliced pears. You're gonna need a fourth of a cup of dried cranberries. I'm also gonna be using um, some regular uh, cranberries too. I'm gonna do it in, in two containers just to uh, have a little bit of a variety. They, they sweeten the craisins, the cranberries, so that it'll give it a little bit more of a sweetness to it, but I'm also, in, I enjoy the tartness too that a regular cranberry brings. So go ahead and mix that up if you'd like and uh, you know figure out what works best for your taste buds. Um, you're also gonna need some uh, 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 half a tablespoon of some peeled ginger and I would definitely use fresh ginger don't don't use dry ginger it just it's just not the same you need that um, you need that direct freshness and that uh, you know the power that fresh ginger has it's got a good kick to it uh, also a whole clove and um, a very small piece of a cinnamon stick like less than a gram so you can measure that out if you if you are able to do so and I would suggest you do so we're going to need three fourths of a cup of brandy and one and a half cups of vodka to go with that. So let's uh, let's get to infusing. Before we get started, I wanted to go over a few of the tools that you're going to need to, as well. You're going to need a container to put it in. I highly suggest using glass of some sort. Um, I don't like using plastic. It, it just some of the the smells and the flavors, etc., get just sort of embedded into the plastic, and it's just not. I just don't, I don't like it. I think you're going to get a, a cleaner flavor using a glass container. I'm using an old jar. This is a jar I can't, these two jars I cannot use uh, for canning any longer because the rim of the jars are too thick and the lids that we have nowadays uh, are too thin. They don't, they don't seal properly over the rim of these older jars, they pop off. So this is a great way, they still work, you can still use them for things. So I like to just, I use them for things like infusion and storage or what have you. So this is kind of a fun way to repurpose your old jars that you can't really use for canning any longer. So you're definitely gonna need a container. Um, you're gonna need a knife and a cutting board and um, a paring or a vegetable peeler, paring knife possibly too for the ginger. Um, and also you're gonna need either some cheesecloth or uh, your jelly strainer um, and then some coffee filters because uh, when it's done with the infusion pro process because this, this does take about three weeks uh, to infuse properly and so you have a, a nice good liqueur and then you'll, you'll want to uh, strain it all before serving. First thing is when I'm prepping the pears and I'm just cutting off the ends like so. I'm gonna go ahead and leave all the peelings on. Um, you can peel them if you would like. I'm leaving them on for infusion. And I'm not too worried about the, these little brown marks, but if you wanna get rid of those, you can. And I'm just kinda scooping out the insides here, just getting the, just getting the seeds and the core out. And then I'll measure out three fourths of a cup too. And now we're measuring out the, you just need a fourth of a cup of craisins or dried cranberries. And again, these are sweetened and they will plump up with the, uh, when you pour the liquid in. And now I'm adding a half a cup of the cranberries, uh, regular cranberries just because the dried cranberries, they shrivel up quite a bit. So a fourth of a cup equals about a half a cup of a regular cranberry. Now with the ginger, go ahead and slice off a little piece of it. And I'm gonna peel some of this because we only need a half a tablespoon per jar. So I'm just sort of peeling away 
the ginger as much as I can, and then I'll finally chop that up. Ginger is very gritty feeling, so you do need a pretty good knife. You can also use a food chopper if you'd like, uh, but you don't want it, you just want it chopped. You don't want it minced. And so we need about a half a tablespoon for a jar. I'm using the scale now to measure out a gram of, less than a gram. So this one stick is three grams of, of a cinnamon stick. So we're gonna make sure we have less than that. That looks about less. Let's see how much that is. That looks about less too. So um, re just remember cinnamon is, is pretty potent. So we're gonna be real careful with that. And also you just need one clove per jar. You can add more spices if you want, but remember cloves pack a lot of punch. So just be careful how much you add. We need three fourths cups of brandy for each jar. Adding a cup and a half of vodka. And voila. We got all the ingredients in the jar, so I'm gonna give each one just kind of a quick stir, just to sort of move stuff around a little bit. And you'll want to do that, you know, once or twice a week, if you can remember. This has got to sit for three weeks prior to it uh, being completely infused. Um, to infuse your your liquors, it's best to do it. Uh, store these in a in a cool, dark space. Uh, they just infuse better. And if you have a good lid, you don't have to stir. You can just give it a shake. So, um, and that's. I, I do suggest doing that, just kind of mixing things up a little bit. As far as the alcohols go, I just went, this is was recommended to me, it's E&J Brandy. Uh, it was recommended to me from the liquor store as a good, she's, the gal there said a lot of folks use it for infusing and things like that with their, it's a good middle middle of the road uh, brandy. Same thing with three olives, I just like it. It's it's a middle, middle shelf, it's a little bit cheaper too. You know, I would not spend a lot on uh, on alcohols when you're infusing. And then also remember, um, after the three week marker, we will have to, you will have to strain this through, again, through cheesecloth or your jelly bag, uh, if you make, if you have jelly bags when you make jelly. Um, and then also again, through a coffee filter, it just, it does a good job of straining all of the little particles out and, and then it stores better. Because if you do keep some of the fruit in there and such, it's just gonna continue to infuse and you're gonna get really strong flavors that you may not like. So, and after three weeks, if you give it a taste and you're like, eh, just needs another minute or two, then then great. After two weeks, if you wanna give it a test and it's, it's where you want it to be, that's fine as well. It will vary a little bit from fruit to fruit um, each year too. So just keep that in mind. Um, and so that is how you infuse a little or make some uh, pear and cranberry liqueur. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. I really enjoyed our little infusion here and I hope you do too. It's kind of fun fall colors to add to your holiday holiday tables and to your meals. Um, and uh, who knows, a little brandy and vodka could knock off a cold, who knows. Uh, so anyway, if um, the recipe is down below, please like and subscribe my page. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, by all means, reach out to me. I'm, I'm on Facebook at Stacy Can Can. You can at me on Instagram and TikTok at Stacy Can Can. My website is www.stacycancan.com, and my email is info at stacycancan.com. So thanks again for joining me today, and until next time, happy canning.